What is up guys, we are back with some more Nexum on Extinction and I wanted to show you guys the new update to the team. I went back and talked to a few people, went back and caught another Cruff. I caught an Unin, or Onin, Unin, Onin, I don't know. And I uh, got their levels up and I'm slowly but surely understanding now uh, how the typing works for type advantage and all that stuff, so... I tried to set the team up somewhat for success, but we'll see. And hopefully, uh, well, not hopefully, I'm pretty sure we are going to get a evolution or two in this episode, since Behilda should be evolving at 17 to second form. But we're going to go inside this cavern. Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, we need to go deeper into the cave, so let's hurry. Be careful and protect me from any hostile next time. I had to mute my, uh, my PC. I was like, wait, I don't think it's muted. The last thing I need is to end up stuck with a bronze tamer and his weird cat. Whoa, 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 why you gotta come for Coco like that? Coco ain't do nothing to you. Oh, okay. What's this? A perfect berry? Okay. Uh, I am interested in seeing what's in here. <laughs> Bloopish? Bloopish. <laughs> wow. We're going to put Onin in. Or Onin in just because we want levels on you. Onin, I came across and it was a rare grass one. So I was like, hey, might as well add you to the team instead of using... uh the log with uh with some mushrooms on it was there anything important i didn't even like pay attention to see if there was anything i really needed a oh, ocean shard okay i feel like i'm going the wrong way because i think it showed like there was a Okay, well this is a fail. Clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we'll come back later. Yeah, uh, it's probably really easy and I'm just being a dumbass. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> Well, that one was easy. Oh, we got a water whistle. Nice. Another bloopish. So when it says effective, that means that it's like super effective. When it doesn't say effective, it just does normal damage. And then of course not effective means it's, it's resistant basically. Okay, well good thing I came this way because it looks like that's all that there was, was that chest. Hope everybody's having a nice day. Uh, just got off work, <laughs> was recording these videos on like my break. Okay, let me, let me try this again. <laughs> Let's go back here. Alright, there we go, guys. Yeah, did that. <laughs> I'm going to puke. Oh, why can we only move in four directions? Oh, yeah, that's right, because up, down, left, right. Oh, what do we run? Another bloopish. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> 
Whoa there, don't hit my woozy. Dinja's almost level 12, so that's good. Uh, okay, I thought I was like, can we interact with those? But I guess not. Oh, uh, cutscene. I was ready to go across and mine. <laughs> there, there it is. Well, I have to admit that things went rather smoothly after all. You know what, Blades? You're not so bad. You spoke too soon. Yeah, I spoke too soon. I hate the two of you. You hate us? <laughs> Eek. Eek. <laughs> oh no, she fell. Let me go mine that stuff before we jump down, though. <laughs> oh jeez, if Amelie finds out about this, she's gonna pay us. She's not gonna pay us. We we shouldn't panic just yet. If we got our story straight, we can sh still change our names and start a new, <laughs> new lives far away from the city. I'm like, okay, sounds good. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> we'll rescue her. Wait, what? You want to run away? I I wasn't prepared for this. Yo, I like this dialogue. Coco's like judging the hell out of us still. Like you really wanted to run away with me. <laughs> She's in a hole, Blades. Y you know what? Let's at least try to find her. I got a rope we can use to get down there. I guess. I guess that I'll have to be the moral compass here. I guess so. Okay, sweet. Like I said, uh, let me, let me go across and mine this stuff. All right, down we go. Let's go. Sparkle. Uh, an exo trap. Okay. So I'm guessing we can get some mineral. I, w I want mineral. I'm tired of like encountering these sounds. Wow. Okay. See how it didn't say effective there? It, that just means like it does regular, regular schmegular damage. Didn't even notice that there. Okay, what's up here? Oh, just another mineral. Let's get that strawberry cake. Hinazuru or Hinazuru Hinazuru How do you freeze a water? Mm. Okay Let's just get it over with Frozen has to be like one of the most annoying things that I'm encountering in the game I don't even know how long Frozen's supposed to last It doesn't even have like a number of turns on it If you see on like the left side <laughs> All that and just getting my butt whooped. But we can change that. We can heal my boy up. I guess we'll heal Onin. Onin up too. Oh! Scooptor? Okay, well, you're electric, so perfect that I healed you up, Onin. Oh, you paralyzed, huh? Can we get a poison? No, nope, we didn't get a poison. Oh, he needs two more to level up. <laughs> I probably should have used that thing to heal up, huh? A phosphant, <laughs> like faucet, phosphant. Okay, I kind of, I kind of like these names that they coming up with. I'm realizing I'm very biased when it shows like common and uncommon. <laughs> Croft just hit 12 and I think he's about to evolve. 
Hydrosphere. Okay. 25% chance to crit. Okay, so this is what the evolution screens look like. Oh, okay, I was like, do I do something? Cruff evolved into Croncho. Stamina went up to 123, HP's at 40. Oh yeah, and that looks pretty dope too. Like, let's, man, I'm moving Behilda up now. Uh, yeah, y'all, y'all not ready? Behilda about to f all y'all. Oh, never mind. Looks like, oh, she's frozen. Hey, that's Fidel. Who did this to her? I've got a bad feeling, Blaze. Would you leave and ask for help? Oh, you ain't going anywhere. It's a little lonely in this cavern. Stay a little longer, kitty. Yeah, who was that? Oh, I didn't know that these next Nexomon could speak. Oh, okay, good. It's a person. Huh? Hey, Blades. That's just a girl. We have nothing to fear. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> Wait, is it a girl? Well, 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 ain't this quite the jackpot. One, two, three poor souls, exactly what I needed. With this many hostages, the guild will think twice before coming after me and Nivalis. Nivalis, that's a tyrant, Blades. Oh, okay, so these are what tyrants are. That's right, ha. Huh? My Nivalis is the invincible tyrant of Frost. The tamers of the guild have been chasing us to no end, but now I have the upper hand thanks to you. We can't win against a tyrant, Blaze. We need to get out. Come on. Well, that's unfortunate. Ho ho. Are you Scrubs for real? He used Scrubs? And your name's Atlanta? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you just try and run away? What about your friend, punks? And you call yourselves Tamers of the Guild? So sad. Well, I'm sorry, I don't want to get destroyed by a tyrant. <laughs> Eek. This is the end. Okay. We'll glare. Lower your attack and defense. 13. Yeah, that was a good amount of damage done there. So it looks like I can... Oh yeah, I totally forgot to tell you guys. Uh, <laughs> so, I went and leveled up Behilda and we got Soul Feeder at uh, 15? 14 or 15. And so now it has like a lifesteal effect on. Thank you. That's really clutch. I don't know if you guys knew that about Behilda getting it this early. I don't know if some of you guys made might have like played ahead or not. But, I found that to be extremely dope. So, we out here. Oh, you can take more health back too, even if they don't have that much health left. He only had two health left. And, wow, we got a lot of EXP from that too. He had two health left and... The sap took 17 off, so we still got 17 health back, as you can see. And we're about to evolve Behilda. Oh, Dinja leveled up too, I didn't even notice. Yeah, let's go, Behilda. What we got, what, what's your what's your name gonna be? Behilda evolved into Hedeka. Hedeka? Hedeka. Had Deca. Okay, I'm I'm gonna stop trying to pronounce that. <laughs> but that looks pretty dope. I like that. How he's just like holding his hand and he's just like, yeah, I'm I'm doing this. It's, I knew this would happen. They've also still exhausted from that other fight. We must recover before it's too late. I was wondering why its health was at 88. So this is where you've been hiding, Atlanta. Oh snap! Yo, I like this. This scene looks legit as hell. Cowering in a dark and cold cavern, aren't we? A most fitting tomb to end your sad story. Bonnie, battle analysis. Yes, sir, on my way. 
by graphing Navala's stats, taking environment variables into account, and carrying the two. Conclusion. You'll kick her butt, sir. Then, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> Edward! How do you keep on finding me? Well, you did freeze an entire lake. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> What just happened? Who are you? Behind me, please. Huh? I said behind me! <laughs> what the heck is that thing? It's a, it's a tyrant. Tyrant of Frost. Oh yeah, you were frozen during that explanation. Now then. So this is where you and your tyrant hold up after our last encounter. Let's end it here now, Lena. The guild wants a word with you. Urgh. Navalis. We're retreating, come on. Oh, y'all can just dip like that? Sir! Sir! They're getting away! That's fine, Bonnie. Let them go. Um... That thing eats people. <laughs> ah, Blades, yes. You're one of the guild's newest tamers. Hmm. Sending a bronze tamer to this place was an unfortunate oversight on Amelie's part. I knew it. I told you! You've done a fine job, though. There's plenty to talk about, but let me get you out of this place first. Thank you. What in the world was that thing? Navalis is what most people call a tyrant. Tyrants are a very peculiar breed of Nexamon. You must avoid them and their masters no matter what. You were lucky that Navalis was so weak. And who are you guys? Sir Edward is one of the guild's grandmasters tamers, just like Dina. We were hunting down Atlanta and her nefarious tyrant. I'm sorry that you had to go through that, Blades. Please, return to the guild and tell Amelie everything. Oh, you bet I'm going to tell her everything. Ah, there's something that I'd like you to have. It is normally a privilege of silver tamers, but you've earned it. Ah, snap, I can warp now? This is what we call a warp stone. The guild has built monoliths like these all over the world to quickly deploy advanced tamers. I'm granting you permission to use the guild's warp stones. You can only use warp stones that you have registered, though. That red warp stone over there, touch it to add this location to your network. It will come in handy. The capital city of Purim has a warp stone that is already activated for you. So, you can go there immediately. Always keep an eye out for red stones to register. Or warp stones to register. Red warp stones to register. I can read, guys. Farewell and try not to worry about the tyrants. As a bronze tamer, they are not your concern. Once you return to the guild, your quest will be completed and you'll receive your reward. Okay, but how do we how do we teleport like that, guys? That's that's goals right there. I heard that the tyrants are fighting each other or something. They have like a war going on, you know? And what are they fighting for? Beats me. Why do I have to teach you this stuff? You guys should go back to the guild with that warp thingy. Get stronger and I might hire you again. Please don't. <laughs> It's like, please, no. Oops, did not mean to come back in here. I wanted to mine that. Okay, I have to go around you, sir. Sir. <laughs> Thunder shard. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ocean, ocean shard. What's the team looking like? Okay, yeah, because they didn't heal anybody up like from that, but. Found an unregistered warp stone. Okay, so it turns blue after you register it. Uh, don't worry, guys. I'm not. I'm not just like gonna run all the way back. I just wanted to get this. <laughs> get an extra shard. And if you guys are wondering what's up with the um, with the woozy following me, uh. Basically, I came back to this town earlier while my videos were converting, uploading all that stuff, and I explored the town a little bit more. And in one of the one of the houses, you can get a woozy follower, and that's that's how you. So you have to collect these followers. Um, so it's not just based off the off the nexomon you have. No, you literally have to find these or probably buy slash have them given to you. But I found this woozy and equipped it, and now it follows me. Um, but I won't lie, I want something cooler. So I'm thinking about 
maybe this one or that one try to unlock it later on. I'm not too sure. But alrighty, back to saving the world. I think we just go back up here. That music though is pretty nice. So I learned that there's like a curse too out here um, about like all these dead people that can't rest. My nose itches. But I won't scratch. Well done, Blaze. I expected nothing less from you. This is your reward for successfully protecting your... It's going to be something so trash, I swear. Oh, never mind. 500 coins is pretty dope. It's not much, but you'll get far more interesting things as you take on harder quests. Can we talk about, you know, the thing that tried to eat us? Ugh, fine. I suppose that you've earned a lesson about the tyrants. Yes, yes, do tell us. Blades, as we speak, the Nexomon of our world are waging a war amongst themselves. Okay. They are trying to replace the previous king of monsters, Omnicron, a powerful creature that was slain millennia ago. For centuries, almost every Nexomon has been competing to be acknowledged as the new king, see? Such is the reason our world is so miserable. We are caught in the middle of a ridiculous power struggle amongst monsters. Hold on, a thousand years? How come they haven't found a new king yet? What's taking so long? That's the thing, nobody knows, and at this rate, humans might not survive to see the end of this war. However, a breed of exceptional Nexomon has started to appear in recent decades. We call them tyrants. In many ways, their power and intelligence resemble Omnicrons, even if just a little. Nevalis is one of them. The tyrants are an ill omen. It is likely that one of these psychotic beasts will eventually become the new king. Okay, but can we catch these tyrants though? Because I kind of want to catch a tyrant now. That's the gist of it. Savage Nexomon annihilating each other, crushing hopeless humans in the process. Don't be concerned about such matters just yet, Blades. I have a very important job for you, so please focus. Oh boy, our next job. Hello, Blades. I have a rather pressing request. Talk to me. Hey, what's up? I'll get to the point. The orphanage is under attack. Okay, that was that was fast. We just left. What? Why? Their intentions don't matter, lad. They must be stopped either way. This may be a danger. This may be a dangerous. This may be a dangerous. What? I think they meant this may be dangerous. This may be dangerous. You'll need to team up with both Ross and Nora. There shouldn't be any issues if you if the three of you work together. Okay, so what? We can do double battles or whatnot. I don't. I don't get the point of that. Please take a moment to prepare yourself. There's a healing center and a general store in the city, remember? Once you're ready, head to the west, back to the orphanage. We're counting on you, kid. Ross and Nora are waiting outside. You just received another story-related quest, but there's still plenty of side quests you can take on. Look for the characters with the star icon. Yada, yada, yada. I super cross, yada, 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 yada. Thanks. Excuse me, Tamer, do you have a moment? The guild has Tamers stationed all over the world, but the tyrants are depleting our supplies faster than we can replenish them. May I ask you for a hand delivering some items to our comrades? Yes. Fantastic. Please take this box. Okay, so we have a delivery quest. These supplies must be delivered to a small outpost in the Outlands to the east of our city. You can't miss it, really. Ex Ooh, another experience core. Okay, cool, cool. They said that uh, Ross and old girl were out waiting outside. Okay, I guess, I guess not. Well, guys, I'm in this episode off here. Um, probably go buy some stuff from the store, complete some side quests and all that stuff, just to see what all this game can give me. But with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel if you have yet to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. It lets me know you're enjoying the content you see. But with that said, guys, take it easy. Stay sharp. Later.